the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. They did they have the fruits of the spirit and did and have the thing that the, the peace that surpasses all understanding. To be able to look at the fact is that when you come into my kingdom, when you come spiritual minded, these things that you have been valued in your life now become as done. I like that what Paul said. All this stuff is, is done. This, this is a waste because it has no eternal value in it. Mm -hmm. And basically, you just gave me a revelation. God was saying is the reason I showed you those last three temptations, and actually the last temptation, where the devil said, "All this glory, I give you. I'll give you all this." That what you just talking about with the oligarchies and the wealth. Yeah. I give you all this glory, all this glory, if you if you just bow down and worship. And worship. Okay, and then to bow down is to be subject to the will of him. Yeah. Yeah. Which will put you right back to doing what you may not want to do. Yes. In other words, you're giving your freedom away. Yeah. You think you you think and then, then the ones who get the possession and see so they're doing everything to, to protect it. Right? Uh even the people that are dealing with the white superiority. Especially the ones who are low income and medium income, is the fact is that you have sold people a bill of goods of something that has no life to it, has no, you know, it it, it has no eternal life to it, and is is based on our outward appearance. Mm -hmm. And he told you, don't look at the outward appearance anymore. Which goes back to my top topic is you must be born again. You must be spiritually minded instead of cardinally minded. All these things of, of from white superiority to one China to former Soviet Union, uh, even those who probably want to break the great empire back, you know, Romans Empire or something back. All these things are don't forget yeah. about the United States. You throw them right on in there. <laughs> I mean, you can't, you just can't just because we live here. I mean, the atrocities here are just, they're so wicked. Well, that came from, that's why I'm talking about white superiority stuff, because it really start, started here. Well, it didn't start here. You, white they came here with that, with that aspect. You know, they said in the, the, the historical perspective is that, my understanding is that the Europeans came here as Europeans, they came in as, as uh, they identify themselves from the culture of where they came from, those who came from uh, Ireland, you know, and, and those who came from Poland, uh, those who came from England, and, and those who came from Spain, and German. You know, I, I mean, if you look at the history, they, they were that was how they identified themselves uh, mm -hmm. before you start because until the slave trade came in, and that's when this this whiteness start coming in uh, and this degrading of people of color because I got to justify my needs to, to do this to them, you know? Uh, and I, as a matter of fact, one of the things too I was looking at was that if you look at the 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 atrocities going to Ukraine right now, I, I thought it was, it was childish, but they used it as these are Nazis. Did, 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 you, did you catch that? The, the, you been like it's, it's, they got a label. They, you got a label. They somebody. don't label somebody that something that is negative and and less than. Then it's it's going to you know you're going to have resistance. Yes. So the best thing to do is to label somebody as less than. Yes. And put people that you want to think of themselves above these folks. Yes. And then, you know, them, them folks are going to feel some superiority over them as well. And just you know, especially you if you if you make them subject yes. to you. Yes. Yes. And uh, you know, uh, before the slave trade, 
you know, the Indians were labeled as savages. Yes. And so I, they yeah. were less than. Yeah. Although without them, they would not have survived. Exactly. exactly. In this particular continent. Right. So, you know, and no different than in, in Africa. Yes. They could not have survived nope. without the help of the indigenous people from that continent. Right. Uh, so it's it's amazing that Europeans, everywhere Europeans went, they had a, a sickness and a virus that was with them that normally killed off the indigenous people. Mm -hmm. Just about everywhere they went. Yeah. And except for when they got around people of color. <laughs> yeah. Then they <laughs> couldn't handle the environment, not the people. Mm -hmm. It was the environment that was too harsh for them that the indigenous people had to help them survive. Yeah. Um, especially these islands when the Europeans. So. How does so, that. Uh, it, it's just uh, uh, amazing how that actually uh, came about. It is, though. Know? Well, but it, like I said, in all that, but see. What is all those things came about to advance somebody's objective? You know what I mean? If you think about it, that was that was the whole intent behind it. Is I can I can I can now bomb the heck out of a country. I can now seize and shoot on a, 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 a what do you call it, a nuclear facility. Yeah. I, I I can I can target now uh, women and children residential areas you know those things that we call illegal in war right we, we we now said we can target these things we can we can target the cities and stuff by just changing the narrative all these things came about to justify the actions that you have towards somebody you know now see i can i can i mean the atrocities go all the way when we talk about even with the 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 uh the slave and here and the, the part about where you you burn somebody and eat their flesh what what where did that come from right how how far did it go to that point where you even eat a human being that that does not compute that shows you the wickedness of man and then when we're talking about the fact that you must be born again is the fact that you must be born again you must be renewed in your mind because this world has so much darkness and wickedness in it. We're subject to do anything if we don't reconnect and renew our minds because the world system teaches us that. So, I mean, why one China? Why, why is Taiwan, which is 100 miles away from you, you feel that you somehow need to bring them under your umbrella? Why, why do you want to bring back the Soviet Union? And, and, and why you got to degrade these people and, 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 and cause pain even in your own country? You know, one of the things going on, I think you heard about it, right? They, they, they're like, if you are news media, like if we were yeah. there, we could be saying some of the stuff we're saying right now. Yeah. You, you'll be shut down. Excuse me, uh, mis misinformation is, is punishable for prison. And then I think even there, I, I think it's going to backfire them because a lot of those people were had the impression that they have freedom, you know. Mm -hmm. And 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 it is, it's going to backfire on them. And and on the well, other, it's same thing is 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 going on here. Uh -huh. uh, it is is have they been trying to discredit uh, the news, you know, by calling fake news actual event uh -huh. fake yeah by by having video of these folks <laughs> doing things uh fake like and then de denying 
the very existence of fat. So, 